A lot has changed since the last time we were together. Not only did Mario cut my hair, we've got art on the surfboard. Um, this is Andrea Nutella 3000, art assistant. Uh, the art on the board is the most fun and exciting part for me of making boards. We're using photos, that's rather untraditional. Most people print on rice paper or just paint on the blank. The way to do the rice paper, which is the classic thing when you see like a logo on a surfboard, that's how they do that. That gets sort of put in with the resin, it's kind of weighted down, and then the part that doesn't have ink on it disappears, and we'll refer to that again once we're actually putting resin on the board. So that's the art section. We've signed it, monogrammed it, whatever you need to do. The next thing to do before you put on the fiberglass is make sure any loose dust is off and we have the luxury of the compressor. You can use an air gun. The next thing that I do is I cut this line along the stringer that allows a little resin to get stuck in there along the string and just creates for a stiffer board which is better. It gives the board a little bit more life. Just uh, a little trick. And then we pull down our fiberglass. It's helpful to have it on a roll in a spot like that. We're using S-Glass, which is a little stronger. Again, get work what works for you, for your situation. And lay it down. Cut it off. Make sure you've got a little bit all around. This roll is the 27-inch roll. can come wider. I think anything less is useless for surfboards. Smooth it down. And then cut it right along here as you want it to wrap all the way around the rails. And I'm going to begin cutting. Places of particular interest are the nose. You want to make a notch so you can wrap things around and it's curved there so what we do is take little notches out like so and then that gets put down like that and then you wrap that around in the glassing stage and continue all around the board with a nice uniform I think they call it a lap and then once this is done, we'll apply some tape. And that'll only make sense later, but we'll show you that in just a moment when we're done with this. What I'm doing he here is I'm cutting out a couple extra pieces that will go under this top le level that I'm going to add for added strength for where we're going to put the fins. That's something that's not really necessary, but it can only help. It can't hurt. So, got these extra pieces. Otherwise, they're garbage. So, that's what we're going to do. And we've got our notches here. We've got a nice cut all the way around. And now we apply the tape. I've turned the board over. I'm going to apply this bit of tape along here, and that's where the overlap from the fiberglass is. And this will let it drip off the board. And on the first layer, 
that is very helpful otherwise you get this pool of resin right off the bat that makes it kind of complicated in terms of sanding and smoothness so we're going to apply this it acts as a channel and that'll all make more sense later at this point I've never seen this it's hard to imagine what it may do So we've turned the board back over. Obviously we're starting on the bottom of the board. We've got our tape on the bottom all ready to help the resin drip off. And then I make a little line along here and then roll this back so you can add some resin here and add a little resin and you know how to lay your glass back down. And now it's on to the resin step. So this is the mix your epoxy stage. You can use polyester resin. We're using epoxy. That's two to one. Follow your instructions really carefully. Epoxy is better, it takes longer. And um, mix it according to the instructions and thoroughly. And then we have a little a little bucket of acetone. Keep the, let it soak for a minute, keep the tools clean. Once that's clean, make sure you keep it closed because acetone is one of those things that's <clears throat> bad for you. Okay. Into the shack with our resin. It's, Im it's important that it's level. That's pretty close. Bring it out. I've got my little extra thin stabilizers here to contend with. Lay that over. Remember where your mark is so you can get that down in the right spot. Spread that around with your squeegee. Lay that down. And now this part, you just move all your resin around. I mixed up 18 ounces. I know that's the right amount based on experience. You always want to have too much rather than too little. And go around and make sure that all of this is soaked.
Are you still swimming? All of your resin to the side. Make sure it's soaked through and bring it over the edge. You want to soak the edges as well. Let it drip off. I like to help it once it's over here. You have to work quickly, but I remember when I first started doing this, I worked a little too quickly. With epoxy, you've got about a half an hour under normal conditions. Polyester may be a little faster, I'm not sure. And now, I'm getting out all the excess, and you almost can't press too hard now because it's, the glass is really down, and it's this sort of taut connection on top of the board that is going to make the board be nice and stiff. So the tighter you can get this, the less waste there is on there. Waste being extra resin, the better. So I always move from the middle out, pull it over the edge, and then let the gravity do the rest. You've got a nice and smooth situation here. And then just tuck it around the edges. You want to wrap this around like so so the board's strong to itself like that if they get too crazy you can just cut them off with a pair of scissors make sure you clean them off with acetone otherwise it's a one time deal with the scissors And the neater you can get this, the better. You get better with time. And that's it.